How do you choose who gets into the market? Do you have like a... Well, I have a, a couple of gentlemen that I work with, Headspace. One is Kevin West, who's a friend of Bettina's, and, um, and Joseph Schuldiner. And I met them actually because my daughter-in-law um, knew Kevin because she works at W Magazine. And we couldn't find anybody to sort of help us with you know, sort of curating. Who do you go to? And my daughter-in-law called and said, just call Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> and I did. And it was like, we had been interviewing so many different people. Mm -hmm. Nobody had, they didn't have it. They just what was his claim to fame? He's a writer. And he's a big, he just, he's totally involved a in the food month. Yes, yeah, but he, a he wrote a journalist. book on pickling, right? Or something like that? Yes, so last yeah. year yeah. we yeah. actually so had the book party. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that Brand gives it. <laughs> but it also, it shows, it shows how the word curate actually means like, and as it's left the art it's world. It's a pun it, when you talk about pickling, that's actually a no, pun. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it means it's, it's an editorial process, right. and that's not really where the word comes from. Well, that's from. exactly what I was going to ask you. <laughs> How do you feel when people use the word curator? I think in a way it's great because people as do associate curating with art, and collecting and patronage is sometimes people are like, oh, that's so intimidating, and if curating is leaving the art world and people are you know, feeling more comfortable with it, that's great. But it's, it, it, it comes from the word more to care for, and to care for a collection, and to be a steward of a collection. So we use it, and it's interesting that Kevin has become, taken this role in, because he's an editor. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it, it means something different originally in art, um, but if that's a bridge that gets more people interested in art, it's great. Huh. I never really <laughs> put that, the connect of those dots. So you think that people use, using the word curator made the art I mean, I think more. collecting implies like you have to have a lot of money and patronage. People are just like, what does that mean? And yeah, curate, I mean, I anyone can feel like they're curating their Tumblr or their wardrobe or their dinner or whatever. Sure. And um, yeah, and I think if it means looking closely and considering and making choices, that is something, those are values that we want associated with the art community. Okay, well we're all curators, we're all editors in, in some way. It's like if you're choosing something and you're trying to nurture something from ground up, you know, it means we're um, curators or editors in some way. So then I think this is a good segue to talk about so like I understand talent. though, I want to know actually how that guy did it. So. He's going out and finding, <laughs> finding specific I mean, chefs. Kevin, David's into Kevin, process. Kevin actually knows a lot of uh, uh, chefs. He goes to lots of restaurants. Right. He was He's just very connected so to that chefy chef world. Right. And we had this kind of discussion about the kinds of people we wanted in there. Right. I wanted people, I wanted something that was affordable. Mm -hmm. I wanted n new voices, new talent. And he knew who they were, and uh, we sort of little by little brought them Are in. Are you helping fund people? Do you, do you, we do you give a give certain Like a yeah, certain TI. break, maybe, yeah. 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 Right. And if we don't, like the very first ones, we were not, we weren't in a position to give them TI, mm -hmm. but once they opened. Sorry, we TI? Were, uh, uh, tenant improvements. Tenant improvements, right. Okay. okay. Uh, as soon as they started making money, we could give them, they gave us their money because right. they have to pay rent, but then we're able to give it back to them as a, uh, uh, you know, against what they, they put in. Right. So, like, when you chose Del Campo, which is a, a meat place, they have great burgers, like, did you have to choose, like, amongst, like, 20 different burger places to... Oh, to no. Okay. I mean, there was something about them. Right. You know, it's a vertically integrated company. Yeah. Do you all know what that means? It's, yeah. it, and so there's a great New Yorker piece on Anya. On, that, on Anya. Yeah, yeah. She's and uh, I don't know. She came down to see the market mm -hmm. and was just blown away by it. They have one place in Marin mm -hmm. and uh, where they do, uh, they have a butcher shop and they sell food. Mm -hmm. uh, and she somehow felt like it was a, a marriage. And so she chose you, you didn't choose her? Well, we sort of chose each other. Okay. <laughs> and uh, it was also, you know, woman, uh -huh. I, woman, we kind of loved that idea. And, uh, and I love the idea that she did something so unique 
and really special, and she was so committed. Um, right, so that's that your definition, I guess, of talent, is somebody that you could trust. So. Right.